bad this is. This tire is completely, completely shot. This one's not, this one's a little better, but see how badly worn it is? It's so unevenly worn. This car needs alignment, I think. And then you go, this one's been replaced like almost a year ago, less than a year ago. That tire is gonna eat itself apart. Cause look, this tread's all still decent. This ain't. Oh, I was in Washington DC and I there's been a lack of car stuff and it was just like, that wasn't even like a vlog, that was just a lot of cinematics and all that kind of stuff. So today we're gonna get back into some car stuff as you guys, you know, kind of could see in earlier in the video, we took the Yukon up to um, shop and got it done up a little bit. We did a couple things to it, so I'll go over that in this video and also what the Yukon also needs and the plans for it coming up soon. So, without further ado, let's get into this reveal. guys we got three brand new tires because one was still good which is this one this was on the rear this was back there this was the only good tire on this car so as you guys could see on that clip the tires were just shot this one which is that one now was just horrible it was beyond you know what am i talking about that one was the only good one that one was like brand new basically the other three were just beyond drivable at this point they were like down to like some metal pieces poking out and everything so it was bad so we got three brand new fire well not i think they're almost brand new firestone what are these firestone winter force lts so they're they're gonna work better than those bald ones until we can get some other new tires which who knows this might be the last set of the tires that we ever put on this thing for reasons coming up soon so you can see they're really good tread pattern and the tread life on them is really good you can see on this one as well and then this front one up here so i think this thing actually originally came when we got it with firestones on it so it's cool going back to firestones towards the end of its life well mine's this one these are like some town town fair tire cheap tires that really don't work so we got snow again when i left there was like no snow, it was so nice, it was like 50s, and then we come back to like 4 or 5 inches of snow. But today's really warm, so it's it's melting, but as you guys can see, it's it's pretty muddy, this needs to be cleaned up. But, if you look in the back seats here, my dad just like cleaned this car a lot. It was really, really bad before, but you see the back seats are really, really cleaned up compared to what they were. Uh, the carpet's all good. My dad just like took some time and cleaned it up. And it came out really cool and really good looking. Minus, well, we didn't wash it, but I might, if it's nice enough, I might spray it down tomorrow or sometime this week and maybe wash it up a little bit. But anyways, the reason that we're trying to get this all done up look is, you know, get it inspected and everything and get it all good to go because we're going to be trading it in soon. Or something a bit newer because there's like a history on this car of just it's cursed basically honestly but it's been a good car like it runs good and we also oh we fixed the oil pressure thing so if we here let's run over here real quick we'll start it up real quick here so you can see the oil pressure um it should be a lot better but 
see it's back up that's 40 right there so it's at like 35 now and if you get a little bit of gas you can see it see it's a lot better so it's gotten a lot better since we put in that new oil pressure sensor and we did a whole oil change on it so that's all good the only thing that it's gonna need now is well there's a couple there's quite a few things honestly but the really main thing is a new headlight bulb in here because it's blown so gotta get that and that's really like all that it really really needs besides you know an inspection so we're gonna get that and we're hopefully gonna be trading this thing in in the next uh, I don't know next month that's our time I'm hoping within the next month we'll see a new car for my mom on the channel so leave your comments down below and your guesses on what it, the new car is gonna be we still are not decided yet so leave your comments down below what you want it to be like a nice SUV like a tra it could be a traverse it could be a newer Yukon it could be uh, it could be anything honestly it could be a Honda Odyssey I don't know but I'm thinking either it's going to be a Traverse, a newer Yukon, maybe a Tahoe, but definitely GM. It's going to be GM, hoping like, I'm hoping, honestly I'm hoping white, so it'll match my dad's truck, but we don't know. And actually, once I cut this clip, and I'll talk about why my dad's truck's not in the driveway, and why my mom's car is, but my dad's home with me. So I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, so, yeah, what do you guys think about the new tires on the Yukon? Leave a comment down below. I want to get back to some car and truck content because it's the weather's starting to get nicer. There's going to be more of it to come. And we might be getting a project truck soon in the next couple months on the channel. So stay tuned for that as well. I'm hoping. I'm hoping this summer some big stuff will happen on the channel. I'm really, really hoping. So cross your fingers, guys. And, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really cool year this year. 2019 is going to be one of the best for this YouTube channel. I hope you guys are ready for it. But let's talk about now why uh, the truck's not here. Okay, so now let's talk about, whoa, always happens. Let's talk about why the truck's not here. Why my dad's 2016 Silverado, don't do it again. Why my dad's 2016 Silverado, uh, some, it's, it's, it's Summit White, the trim level is custom, it's a custom truck. Well, that's the trim, that's what they call it. So it has like paint match bumpers, uh, and like stuff like that, it has all the, the nice, fancy like color matching and everything but it's not like it doesn't have a lot of options that's basically what it means so the reason why it's not here is because my mom's driving that because we took the Yukon to go do all the stuff today so we just swapped the car seats and everything into my dad's truck and she ended up, ended up taking that to go see my aunt who just had her first baby the before like the week before I went to DC I think so that's pretty cool and exciting I was hoping to get to go but I'll probably see them, I don't know, this weekend or something. So, that's exciting for them. I'm I'm excited that they finally got to have their first kid. It's a boy. So it's pretty cool. But, like, the truck, she should be back in a little bit, a couple hours maybe. And then I might do the same thing uh, with my dad's truck, go over, like, what's happening and all that stuff. I kind of done that a lot, but the plan with this is to trade it in for something newer, a better car for my mom. Yeah, let's park this thing back up, though, because I really don't need it here anymore. Let's listen to this. Ready? Every time. Well, except for that one time, it almost didn't. But actually, I'll just park it back up because I need to focus, you know, and I need to be able to see. So I'll park it back up, and I'll see you guys once I get done with that. It took about, oh, I don't even know, 20 minutes. Probably not even that. If I just took some time and got this car, you know, to cut the Yukon clean up a little bit. It's okay. It it could be better, but it looks a lot looks a lot better than it did. That's for sure. But is water starting to build up in the hand? Where's the hole? Yeah, that's what you have to do. Is you blow in it and it blows water out. Hang on. Okay, I got some of the moisture out. But anyways. Yeah, it's uh, it's better. Oh wow, yeah, it is. What happened here? It is all sorts of fricked. 
you guys probably can't even see, but my dad was talking about the bumper being pushed out a whole bunch. Holy crap, is it pushed out. This is where the liner is. Look how much more it's got to... Wow. That's all sorts of screwed up. And you guys can see the 16's back. I washed this too, because when, I, when uh, my mom came home, it was just covered mud down the sides and on the white. I was like, oh, I don't like it. And it was really starting to annoy me. So I was like, screw it, we'll wash it. I didn't, you know, spray it super, super hard, because white, if you can get like a little scratch, you'll be able to see it. So I cleaned up the mirrors. I cleaned the whole fender liners, the, the rims, down the whole side and everything. These are a lot easier because these are paint. That's a lot easier, but look, you can even see it's uh, starting to rust up in there. I don't like that. But you can see this is all metal, so it's a lot easier to clean these out. But I got the rims all cleaned up and everything, and it looks a lot better. A lot, a lot better than it did. So that's always nice, you know. It's weird, like, I want to... Oh, here's the, here's the mat that we should be putting in the truck soon, because I don't want to check... I don't think it's got anything in the bed yet. Oh, my shoe's filled with water. That's fun. I don't think it's got anything. No. It's got a box in there. What's the box for? What's that? I'm kind of curious. I'll have to ask my dad. But yeah, there's no bed liner, no bed mat, nothing yet. But soon to be. That bed mat in there, at least. So that way the bed doesn't get all sorts of screwed up, but... Yeah. Okay. We're working on the chicken coop, you know. You guys have been watching chicken coop updates. So here you go. This one's here. And there's that one. And that one. And the three ducks. Hey. There's that duck. And that's. These two are like. You always used to play playing that with the And that's the female. And there's these two chickens, you know. That one isn't like as you know s not scared. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. The female is like kind of scared of like everybody, and the two boys aren't as scared. They, like hang out with me a lot, reduced to like in the summertime and stuff. So it's cool. But they're all doing good. They're all here. I'll meet you guys back in my room because I gotta finish up this video because it's long overdue to be done. Ron's doing good. They're over here, you know. Still into the water bucket, which I probably should shut off now, but. Yukon's doing good, it's here, this 16, and my dad's driving it, so he'll be home later tonight, but chickens are doing good, everything's good. Alright, so this video is coming to an end, I don't really have much else to say, it's 8, 8.47pm on Wednesday, March 27th, um, hopefully tomorrow when we go going to this uh, place in Bethel, it's like a pizza place, uh, in the town that I go to school in with friends and stuff, and there's this thing going on at school later that night or something, I don't know. Don't know, but I have to go there, so I might as well just, like, stay in town versus coming home and then going back, you know, so. Whatever. So I don't really know what the, like, what videos are going to be like tomorrow. Videos. Videos going to be like tomorrow if I'm going to film anything. I don't know yet. But this video is about over, and I've just been really tired for the past however many days, I don't even know what day is it, Wednesday is it, the past like three, four days, I've been really tired, so it's, you know, it's always great when you're trying to do school and film and stuff, but I'll see you guys in the next video, I don't know what this is going to be about, but I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm going to try something new for this outro too, so tell me how you guys like it in the comment section, if I should keep it, or if I should just do what I've been doing, I'll see you guys next time, peace out, let's roll the outro.